What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zer is back and this time he's in the reef. So Zer's not in the tower, he's in the reef this time and we got Zer for the first week of House of Wolves. So this is week number 37 I believe and Zer is in this little room that they opened up in the corner uh, in the dark right here. So here we go, here's Zer and let's see what he has for the weekend. So here's his inventory for the weekend. Pretty disappointing if you ask me. Zer's trolling us. Everyone was excited for Zer because we thought he was going to sell something new. Uh, like a new exotic like he did on the first week of Dark Below when he sold Ruin Wings. But again, he's bringing some old gear back to us. So let's get into it. For the Titan, we have the no backup plan gauntlets. Increase the duration of Force Barrier. Increase melee attack speed and increase reload speed with special weapons. An average gauntlet, but if you want to buy it, you can go ahead and do so. All of them are scaled up to the new light level of 34, so that's always good if you want to pick any of them up. For the Hunter, we have the Radiant Dance Machine Boots. Carry more ammo for heavy weapons and you move more quickly while aiming your weapon. Uh, it's pretty decent in Crucible. I tried using it with my Hunter, um, but there are better exotics that I'd rather use. Um, for many scenarios, so if you want to pick it up, you can, but I'd go ahead and pass. And then for the Warlock, we have the Starfire Protocol. has a really high intellect stat. Um, it goes up to 175. That seems pretty high. Uh, but anyways, it has gained additional fusion grenade and carry more ammo for fusion rifle and heavy weapons. Again, another average chest piece. Um, I like Hardopraxic Fire and stuff better. But if you want a cool exotic for the Warlock, a decent one, uh, this is always a good pick. And then for the gun, we have the Last Word Hand Cannon. Uh, scaled up to 365 damage. So uh, pretty good. He's probably selling this just because Trials of Osiris begins this weekend. Later on today, in fact. And uh, if you guys want to go pick it up and try to level it up pretty quickly, uh, you can go ahead and do so. Really good gun for Crucible. Um, pretty much one of the top guns in the game right now alongside Thorn and stuff. So uh, if you want to pick this gun up because of that, I'd recommend it. And then of course he has exotic shards and the exotic engrams which I'm probably going to pick up. And he doesn't have any more, um, what are those called, upgrades because we can just ascend them on our own. But he does have this material exchange now which is very, very good. You can exchange strange coins for Molten Light. That's always really good. So besides the speaker, you can always use Zer uh, if you're running high on strange coins and you want uh, Molten Light for re-rolling or reforging or buying some engrams. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy some engrams and open them up. Uh, so we're gonna try to get some of the new helmets that were just dropped with the House of Wolves. Uh, so I'm gonna buy, I guess, two or three. I'll buy three then. I'll buy three exotic helmet engrams. So there we go. We got three right there. And let's go see what we get. So hopefully we get some new ones. Uh, we got, what are the three new ones? The hunter one. The, uh, I, I died. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't looking. Alright, uh, we got the eternal warrior I think is one of them. We have the ram. And we have the Nighthawk, I believe. I think that's the name of the Hunter one. Um, so yeah, Let's see if we can get any of those three. I'd I'd be happy for any of those. Hello, Titan. So here we go. We're going into the engrams. Let's get it. First one, we get the Ram. That's oh my god, dude. That's that's ridiculous. So uh, we'll take a look at it after. Next one, we get the ATS-8 Arachnid. Not one I wanted. But uh, I can always use an exotic shard. And then finally we get a Helm of Inmost Lights. That was unfortunate. Uh, we didn't get anything but the Ram. Which is fine. At least I got one of the three. That's always cool. Uh, so let's take a look at it more closely. So we have right here. Infusion. Replenish health each time you pick up an orb. Scholar's Draw. Replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a melee. And the... Unique one, the strength of the ram, increase armor, and all Voidwalker melees trigger lifesteal on a hit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it also looks pretty cool. I'm using my Titan right now, so 
can't really try it on, but it looks really good. Um, I'm definitely going to level it up and try utilize it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.